Hi Aries, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and this is a new thing. This is a weekly update. We're still going to do one big huge reading at the beginning of every month or as spirit calls, you know, you might get some kind of surprise big huge reading. It just depends. But for the most part, this is a weekly update that I will try to get out sometime between Sunday night and Tuesday morning. So these are weekly updates because, you know, the readings, they, energy takes time to work itself out. And I don't want to keep doing the same old readings over and over and over again while we're still all in the same energy, right? So these are weekly updates. I'm going to do my spiel at the end of this video. So if you'd like to hear it, stick around. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. All right, Aries, you enter this reading with the Princess of Pentacles, manifesting new opportunities in your life. Because with the Queen of Swords, you have cut something or someone out of your life that was a burden. It was a burden. With that Ten of Wands right there, you just put them down right there at the base of that staircase and you said, you know what, this just isn't worth it. It's not worth it to me and I'm not carrying this burden anymore. And you cut it out of your life. The King of Cups comes in and tells us that this was a very well thought through decision. This card is about emotional balance and control. So, you know, this decision to, to cut this burden out of your life wasn't willy nilly. It was something that was very well thought through, right? The Nine of Wands comes in and tells us that, that you have some courage, right? And some resilience and you feel good. You feel strong. You're ready to, you're ready to, to, you know, you're in fight mode, but not in a bad way, right? You're in fight mode. You're ready to, to, to grab the bull by the horns and just do what you got to do for you. The nine of pentacles comes in and tells us that there has been a completion, right? There has been a, um, there has been a culmination to this situation and you now have a sense of self-sufficiency a sense of self-sufficiency to go after that Ten of Pentacles, right? To go after, to, to build a solid foundation for your future and, and be financially successful. Six of Pentacles comes in and says that you want to give and receive and share with those around you. Queen of Wands says you're absolutely determined to be successful absolutely determined to be successful. The Ace of Swords says that you have power and victory and mental clarity in the situation in your life. The Queen of Cups comes in and says, it reiterates the King of Cups right there. You might be dealing with a water sign, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, because we do have the King and the Queen of Cups here, but you know, I'm not big on the signs, but you know, we do have the King and the King Queen of Cups here. The Queen of Cups reiterates the King of Cups and says that um, you have emotional security. You're calm, cool, collected, and you know that you know that you know that this is the right path for your life at this time, which leads us to the Two of Wands, the right path for your life at this time. You're planning for your future and you're very optimistic. Three of Cups comes in and says that you have a sense of celebration and friendship and community, right? You're just feeling really good about the decision that you made up here to cut this burden out of your life. Ace of Pentacles comes in and says that you are manifesting. You're manifesting new opportunities, prosperous new opportunities in your life. The Seven of Swords. This card is about betrayal, deception, shady behavior in general, which is probably the burden that you dropped up here. But nevertheless, this card on the flip side is also about breaking free of mental challenges, which is what you're doing which is what you've done. You've broken free from mental challenges in regards to this, this person or this thing that was such a heavy burden in your life. The Two of Swords comes in and says that you're calling a truce to it all. You're just like, it's done, it's over, and I'm good with the way that I feel, and I don't have residual issues. It just is what it is. It's over, I'm done. I feel good about the decision that I made. I feel strong. I'm ready to, 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 to fight, you know, through, through, um, I'm, I'm ready to take on life, right? 
There's a culmination and a sense of self-sufficiency, absolute mental clarity, determination to be success, successful. You know that you know that you know, and you're planning for your future. You are feeling celebratory. You're manifesting prosperous new opportunities into your life. You're breaking free of mental challenges. You're calling a truce to everything. It's just is what it is and it's over and you're going to carry on as yourself there's your card right there aries the emperor and you're going to focus on the control authority establishment and structure of your life from this point forward so congratulations aries you made a good decision and you feel good about it you're in a good place in your in your mental you're in a good place in your emotions you're planning for your future and you are just on point my friend on point there you go that was your reading aries now for my spiel if this is where we part ways namaste my friend the spiel so it's super important to know three major elements of your birth chart your sun sign which today is aries is how you receive information the, the, per, the personality characteristics of Aries is how you receive information from the world. Your moon sign is how we feel about things, right? It's how we process that information. And your rising sign is how you spit that information back out into the world. Super helpful to understand those three signs, particularly when you're watching free tarot card readings um, on YouTube. You can cross watch for yourself or your person the other signs in their chart and get a more comprehensive, complete look at what's going on. It kind of takes away a little bit of the ambiguity of a general reading. It's also important to know the, those three elements in anybody that's important in your life. If you know the rising sign, the sun sign, and the moon sign of, say, your boss or your spouse or your kids, you understand how it is that they process communication. So you can give communication to them in a structured way that will help you to be able to to get the results that you want from that communication, right? Um, if your child is a Taurus, okay, I'm just going to use that as an example because I'm a Taurus. If your child is a Taurus, right, they're going to receive information as a Taurus. So the way that you want to put that to a Taurus child is, number one, make it think it's their own idea. <laughs> number two, um, show value in it, right? Um, you know, if you clean your room, you'll earn you know, a dollar fifty of your allowance. That's what cleaning your room is, you know, because we're all about money, right? In the pentacles and building structure and security. And and they'll receive that in, in, in a way that's like, oh yeah, that's to my benefit. I can do this. This is to my benefit, right? So it's a win-win situation. As a Pisces, I, I process things, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, I process things from a very emotional perspective, right? So if my mom told me to clean my room, that it would earn me a dollar fifty of my allowance, um, I'd be all about it. But as a Pisces on the inside, I'm processing it with a lot of feelings and a lot of emotion and um, trying to figure out you know, how it will, how, how it will help everybody concerned, right? So as a mom, I would say Taurus kid with a Pisces moon, you know, clean your room. It'll earn you a buck 50 of your, of your allowance. And you know what? It'll really help me out. It, it'll help me out. It helps me to keep the house under control. It helps me to keep things organized and in check. And as a Pisces moon processing that, I'm like, oh, it'll help my mom and I'll earn money. You know what I mean? So anyway, that, that was a tangent. Sorry. But the point is, is that, um, is that it's important to know how the people in your life communicate. There's a link in the box below where you can do your free natal chart, right? The first chart that comes up is, is, is the planetary positions in your chart that'll tell you your moon sign, your rising sign, and your sun sign. If you scroll down past all the charts that don't make any sense to me because I'm not an astrologer, there is a brief synopsis of each and every personality type that is in your chart. It's really cool to know, so I highly recommend that y'all do that. So you 
you can get the best that you possibly can out of your life and out of free general tarot card readings. If you'd like a reading with me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. 40 bucks, we'll hook it up just like this, just for you, just for your situation. Namaste, my friends.